back to another video. I've just come out to do evening stables, which is why Artie is cross because he's starving, which to be fair at the moment, he probably is quite hungry being there's no grass. So he's making a massive fuss. Um, that's not you have come to talk about. I wish you'd stop rubbing. I didn't order another itchy horse. Definitely been rubbing that mane of hers at the moment. Um, anyway, you'd have already seen from the thumbnail and the title what this video is about. Sienna is coming back into work. So she's had um, three weeks off, just under three weeks. And it's time for her to come back in. I actually said she might have a month off, but she's got really bored really quickly. And she really doesn't particularly like having to... <laughs> so angry there, aren't you? So angry. Oh, dear. Um, she doesn't really like having time off massively. She she just doesn't really like the lack of interaction with her. It's not that I obviously don't do things with her. I bring her in every day. You know, she gets groomed. But she really misses doing stuff. So we decided three weeks was enough for her, really. Um, so she's going to come back into work. What are you doing? Don't you start doing that. Um, so I thought I'd bring you along for how I bring my young horses back in to work after a few weeks off. Every young horse is different. Some young horses, you know, you put a saddle back on and if they've had a couple of weeks off, they've totally forgotten about it and rodeo across the arena. Others just get on with it. Um, this is her third, like, little holiday. So I'm hoping she should be pretty good. Um, the first time she had a holiday, she definitely, and it was only a week, she definitely forgot what the saddle was all about. Uh, whereas last time she was a little bit better, but this is the biggest stretch of holiday she's had. So we will see. But anyway... Like I say, I'll bring you along. I'll show you what I choose to do with mine when bringing them back into work and sort of setting them back up to being, being ridden. Oh, she's very sleepy, very snoozy. She's also got all these horrible bite marks on her head. The bugs love you, don't you, dear? I'm not looking your most attractive at the moment. All these little holes in your head. Right. Carry on sorting his food out before he makes a great escape. Throws his toys all out of the pram and this lovely forelock that's not really... Oh, just such an unhappy boy, isn't it? Artie's not appreciating the drought at the moment. One little bit, are you, mate? So I've got Sienna out with me today. So bringing my youngsters back into work. This is not the same as rebacking them. This is literally, they've had a little holiday and they've come back into work. And first up, it's always a bit of hacking on the lead. Um, minimum three days, maximum week of just leading them out. It gets the bridle back on. Um, it gives me a chance to just check how she's moving. But I have this on the long, wide angle. So she looks weird. Um, uh, and just kind of, I think it is a nice way to kind of reintroduce her back into work. It's like, right, bridle's on, we start hacking again, um, gets rid of any sort of first buzzy excitement for getting back into work. Um, it just reintroduces her nicely back into work life um, compared to relaxed, chilled, easygoing life. Um, so like I say, this is her second hack. Um, I'll definitely probably do another one with her. Um, all in walk, it doesn't have to be, I don't take them out for that long, sort of 40 minutes kind of thing. Um, she doesn't actually particularly like coming out on the lead. She's the kind of girl that's quite independent, so she'd rather be uh, up front on her own. She doesn't really feel the need for corporal to be leading her, but hey, you have to deal with it, don't you, dear? Poor girl, actually, you can see so bumps on the back. Out of all my horses, she gets bitten by far the most, and she wears a sweet itch rug. Um, Artie, hardly ever. Corporal... Every now and then, normally it ends up in a big swelling. Sienna, daily. So Sienna has done her hacking on the lead. Um, she only managed three days. She was getting bored already. Um, and so today I'm going to give her a lunge. I don't love lunging, but in this case, I'm going to put the saddle back on her. She hasn't had it on for over three weeks. So put the saddle back on. You're eating out the rubbish pile. Lovely. Um, and just pop her on the lunge, not particularly long, 10, 15 minutes, just so she gets used to the saddle being back on her. And I think while, <laughs> I think while she's had her little break, uh, she may have grown again. I chucked her out thinking she needed to do, I'll, I'll zoom in so I'm not on the wide angle, um, because she needed to do a little bit more growing. She had just started to, but I think she's continued. So rather than evening out, she's just continued to get big because that bottom is definitely higher than the weather. I've just literally finished watching 
um, the World Championships. I see, do they call it the special, the normal Grand Prix? I can't think now. Anyway, and Lottie Fry has just won. I mean, honestly, I could barely breathe through her test, but it was incredible. Um, it was insane. Absolutely incredible. Honestly, I just... <gasps> just too much um well it was so lovely i wouldn't do that eve because you know she's not particularly dog friendly um is of course when they're like listing some of the horses breeding sienna's grandparents were definitely in there by quite a lot so so i started off with a nice bit of walk with her obviously i didn't video the whole session you know a bit boring for you guys it's just lunging um i've got her in the halter she's very easy to lunge she's not the sort that gets strong or pulls too much I don't love lunging. I don't think it does them great to be going around in circles all the time, especially when they're young. But to be honest, any age, I don't really like lunging that much. Um, so I kept this very brief. The arena's not in great nick either at the moment due to the lack of rain. So it's very dusty and it's just not particularly nice. She was really good. Very happy with the saddle being back on. Didn't seem bothered in the slightest, which is lovely. She seems to come back in after each little holiday, that bit more mature. I felt like she really kind of, when I started tacking her up today, she was like, oh, I, you know, she understood what rhythm work is. She's like, oh, I know that, right, we're back in this routine. She looked really happy for it um, and was very willing on the end of the lunch. So that's really nice to see. Her body's still got to mature that bit more. But I think actually for four and a half, she's pretty built up already. Um... I think she's going to be a full up 16-3 by the end of it. Oh, on this rain, you'll see she looks like she slightly scoots her bottom underneath her and it's because the stirrup fell down on the other side. Um, and she just kind of went, ooh, like that. And sort of, um, it did fire her off a little bit, but she didn't do anything, bless her. Um, and she's always been a little bit touchy like that. Um, so yeah, and then at the end, she just had a walk around. Like I say, she did about 10, 15 minutes max. Probably won't lunge her again now until I actually have to get on. The next steps will be to just long rein her. So I'll put the stirrups down for that and, um, yeah, probably long, long rein her a couple of times and then get on. But all in all, very, very happy. And she seems super chilled and pleased to be back in work, I would say. She was a good girl. So it is segment three of getting sienna back into work so she's obviously done the hacking on the lead she's done the one lunge just to get the saddle back on her and now i'm long reining her i'm really a fan of long reining it's really good for all horses of all ages and not just youngsters but obviously particularly great with youngsters um, and what was so lovely is just how much she's matured and grown up in just the way she stood here like a rock so while i was faffing around with the lunge lines and sorting myself out she just stands there super quiet chilled not moving about and I just thought oh, she's grown up so much when we first started long reining her she was really fidgety and you always needed two people to be able to set her off um because she was quite jumpy with the lunge lines but now look at her she's an absolute pro um so it was very hot that evening um you may think I videoed this all on the same day because of the gorgeous blue skies in the background but that's sadly not the case we're going through a heat wave at the moment in the UK and it is jolly hot for us so um yeah we've had beautiful blue skies every day which is lovely uh, and my camera is up very high and it's on the wide angle lens so if we look a little spaced out that's why she was brilliant very chilled knew her job um got on and long reined her really easily the great thing about long reining is it's a chance to kind of feel how the contact's feeling down the rain a little bit of steering and maneuvering again getting ready for when i get back in the saddle and pick up the reins with the saddle on, I obviously ran the lunge lines through the stirrups for the steering. And it's good because then I can move the stirrups around a little bit and sort of flap them against her side and just check that she's ready for my lower leg to be there, which she was all very happy about. Um, and the other great thing is when you're long reining is you can then slip into kind of lunging with two reins as well. So I mix it up. Sometimes I'm behind her. Sometimes I go more into the middle like I'm doing now. Um, here comes the running phase. Not something I'm particularly good at. Um... I literally look like I'm being dragged around. She was really good. She didn't actually go that fast, but she's got quite a big trot stride on her. And I find it really hard to keep up, which is why I quite often end up beside her. Um, but the other great thing as well was that I just tripped over the pole. Yeah, you might have seen that. I think I spooked her into canter by tripping over the pole as well, poor girl. Um, is the bend. Some really lovely bend with her on the long range. So overall, really chuffed. So the next step is getting on.
This is my final segment in getting back on a young horse after a holiday. Uh, so first of all, just start off by giving Sienna a little bit of a lunge with the stirrups down. Obviously, just in preparation for me getting back in the saddle. I probably didn't lunge her for more than about two, two and a half minutes. She didn't need much and it was still very hot that evening. Um, so she was already quite sleepy. Um, but you can see she's just trotting around, very relaxed on the lunge, letting those stirrups dangle. And then it was time to get back on board. And I'm always a smidge nervous because some youngsters, when you get back on, can be a little bit spooked. But hopefully with the prep I've done, she was always going to be fine, which she was, which was lovely. Nice chilled walk to begin with. Don't ask anything of her. Just I want her to walk forward. She's a naturally slow walker. So if you're thinking, God, she walks like a snail, she does. Um, long rein and then popping her into trot once again just keeping quite a long loose rein just making sure that she trots forward and that's all I'm worried about I'm not worried about whether she's on the bit or whether she's bending I just want her nice and forward off of the leg quick little break again like I say it was super hot last night so quick little break because the arena is so dusty and deep and then I popped her back into trot and then this time on it with a slight more contact so just getting her to have a slightly long and low frame and again just making sure she's nice and forward and again she was so chilled and relaxed which was lovely it was very good against my leg and all that so I was very happy probably didn't do more than about 15 minutes with her a few pony cuddles and yeah, I was really pleased. She's looking good as well. I think she's put on some nice weight from her time off. Um, she looks like she's filled out a bit. So I'm very happy with her. And really now it's to slowly start building her back up again.